Hello and welcome to another episode of Sail Away with Kim and Tyler. In our last episode, we talked about how when our relationship was getting a little bit more serious, we wanted to make sure that we were always working on the same ship on each subsequent contract. So we had to go through the process of linking our IDs. Yeah, there was a lot of time involved. Right. Um. So, yeah, we managed to take the next step in our relationship um and like linked as i said before it felt like we were married but um in ship terms it means your forever partner basically yeah and it's basically a guarantee that you'll be able to get a contract on the same ship yeah. as your and like, significant other. You won't start the same day. You won't end the same day. Yeah, and you're fucked if you, <laughs> if you have a situation and then uh, it's like uh, you're not... If you, things don't work out, it's like a divorce. Like, Yeah, kind of. You Because uh, <laughs> obviously they put you in the same cabin. And, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we didn't have to worry about that because, obviously, we're still together years later. I know. But, uh... So, you can't really have, like, arguments. Remember, like, you had the argument one time and, like... <laughs> you didn't even leave the cabin. You just went on top of the top bunk. You just, like, sat on the top bunk looking at the ceiling. And I was like, wow. And you can't remember that. Not really, which probably means it was a stupid argument about something that didn't really even matter. Yeah, I was just more like disagreements, to be honest. Like, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we took the the commitment. So people ask, what's linked? What does it mean? So you sign on to the ship and you kind of like get put into your cabin. People say, oh, you get a, like a double bed. <laughs> We're laughing. You're kind of supposed to. Yeah. There is such a thing as a true couple's cabin, which Not is very where, common, though. Yeah, they're Not, they're pretty rare, and so we'd never had the luxury of that <coughs> on any of our contracts. Well, we had one time when I was ill, remember? Yes, and you had to stay there by yourself. I know, I sneaked you in, and like, like loads of people I were did. like saying, oh, you know, shouldn't do that. I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck off. This yeah. is the only chance that we yeah, can get exactly. the uh, cabin. But basically a normal, like, standard crew cabin is just bunk beds. And they're not really yeah. even standard sizes. I feel like they were I feel uh, like they got longer small, yeah. and narrower than a standard twin bed. So narrower, like skinnier. And, I mean, we slept in the same, like, twin bed. I remember, um, like... Because you had the, like, obviously a later shift, so I finished, sometimes right. I finished early, and I was, like, taking the whole bed, and I sleep through anything, and, like, Tyler yeah. kind of pushed me, and I was against, like, the wall, sleeping, and I don't know mm-hmm. how I, I can just sleep through anything. Yeah, I don't know. We always joke that if there was a uh, evacuation, a real-life, real emergency evacuation, that she would sleep through the alarm. I know. And I literally think that, that, that she would until i would have to come back to the cabin and get her yeah yeah but uh no anyway left behind <laughs> it's kind of like the sydney harbor bridge right, the girls yeah. like no troll left behind of like the titanic and i'm going under fall asleep yeah but um there yeah. is such a thing as a real couple's cabin, and there are bunk beds, but the bottom one is more like a full-size bed Yeah, that's meant for two adult people. And that's the one that I managed to get us in when I was poorly. Yeah, it wasn't, I think it was literally for like one night, wasn't it? And then I you know, were back. but it was something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> the majority of the time, we were in the standard crew cabins, um, just so, sharing. Yeah. So when you get in, there'll be the shower, which is like... It's really small. Yeah, it's that small that you kind of just like, yeah, it was just ridiculously small. You probably can touch the toilet. <laughs> yeah, the whole, the <laughs> whole so compact. bathroom is probably, I don't know, like five by five or so. That's probably from you to me. Um, or maybe yeah, that's a bit r- like... Roughly, yeah. yeah, probably. So you take a... Sh- a shit and I'll have a shower. No, we never did that. 
One time I did that in New York and you weren't happy about it. I really needed to go and you wouldn't listen. I don't really remember that. I must have blocked it out. I think yeah. I repressed that memory. Yeah, sorry. Um. Anyway, we we're talking about cabins. So, yeah, there was like not very often there was like any um couple cabins so obviously we had to suck it up i remember camp ocean cabins were like tiny tiny yeah there are sort of different like layouts or designs of crew cabins depending on a lot of things i guess um but usually because we were linked they would put kim in my cabin because so they so, yeah the musician ones the entertainment ones if if you're a performer like a musician or a singer or a dancer or whatever <coughs> they tend to give you a little bit bigger one um and they also try like most departments you know whatever it is you're doing on the ship they they try to put your you in a cabin that is near your workplace and for me as a musician um most ships I was on, we were doing some of the production shows in the theater. And so they, there are cabins literally right off the backstage. Um, there's a whole like wing of cabins there. And so every ship I was on, for the most part, I got put in one of those cabins. And so they were a little bit bigger than the ones that yeah. were up by Camp Ocean. So Kim would come up down yeah it's nice um, to have an upgrade on the room yeah and like some of the cabins so in the cabin they'll have like a little because obviously you want your own space they have like a curtain that you can enclose yeah, yourself over in over the as bunk well. beds they have a curtain that will basically close it off so you know yeah, most you people on the ship aren't linked with someone that they're you know cruising working as a crew member or staff with their significant other that's um yeah. that's not as common so most people are sharing a cabin with someone who probably works in their department so you want some privacy sometimes yeah it'll have to be like obviously male and male female right and female. yeah they don't they would never unless you're linked like us obviously yeah, then. and you could be in a different like department with someone else but yeah, it's like, only like the first or second it's cruise. usually temporary until yeah. that person has a cabin in their <clears throat> uh, work area open up that they can go into it's a mess with people signing on and off all the time and yeah. usually before someone signs off they bring another person on at least like they didn't do that for the bands but i know they did that for the playlist like the playlist would usually have one if not two cruises where they're both there at the same time they're not both performing but the new cast got there early to do sort of a handover i have think you they got would call like it did you have like any issues with any like of your roommates? Any issues with any of my roommates? Yeah, like. Well, for the most part, you were my roommate. Yeah, I know, but you on, had someone before me. Did you have any issues? Um. Well, I'd have to go back and think about it because definitely on the Magic, which was our first ship, I had a lot of roommates. Um, they were all various members of the band. One of them got fired. Actually, that's a whole story. Oh my gosh! You want yeah. me to tell that, or should I save that well, for that a different time? Well, that was just because he, his ex came on. Yeah, it was kind of a mess. I felt bad for him. I really did. Yeah, but, his ex uh, came onto the ship and was causing problems for him. Yeah. And they were she in had a booked night the cruise. Wasn't it in a nightclub or something? Yeah, she had booked the cruise. Be just right before, and he was a late sign on for the contract. Um, they just. Uh, when they were you know filling positions for that ship on that contract i guess for whatever reason it took them a while to find a keyboard player um and so we did like i remember being a couple of weeks in the studios without him there was someone who was filling in but he wasn't going on the ship and so um this keyboard oh. player came on kind of later and so i guess before because he was coming from la and so i guess he told his girlfriend at that time that he was on land with oh i I got a I got a gig yeah. on this cruise ship, and she booked. And I think, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it was the New Year's cruise, and um, we got on the ship in late October. So sometime between then and before that cruise in January, they broke up. But she had paid all this money to come, and she was like, "Well, I'm going on my cruise," 
And he was like, all right, you know, whatever. We'll probably run into each other, but, you know, there's other stuff for you to do. So, you know, have fun and I'll see you later. But uh, it wasn't that simple, unfortunately. And yeah, the long what happened, story short. What, what happened in well, the nightclub? He did something to I th someone else. I don't know because I wasn't there. I'm not really a nightclub kind of person. That's just not really my scene. But um, from what I understand, and the thing is also that as technically when you're in entertainment, you're like considered staff. So there's crew and there's staff and then there's the officers, yeah. which are like on Carnival, it's mostly Italians. There's other nationalities, so but the there's a lot of Italians. <coughs> the, crew, so the crew couldn't go into the staff area. They didn't have, well, they didn't have guest area privileges. Oh, yeah, sorry. There weren't really yeah. staff versus crew areas. That's all the same. Yeah. But yeah, crew, and the crew are the people who are usually like, the anyone in the food or beverage side of things, um, those people are the ones that come to mind or like engine people. Do they have cast area privileges? Uh, I don't know. I honestly think they probably do have, but. But they just don't have any time because they're yeah. always just working. But uh, there are a lot of people who work behind the scenes who you would never see if you're cruising as a guest because that's just not part of their job. Like there are people who work like, I remember one time, I don't remember what ship it was, but you and I went down to like the main laundry, which was on like the B deck. I had yeah. never been down there before. And if you're a guest, if you've ever taken a cruise, you'll probably know that they have like guest laundries or like really like a mini like laundrette kind of thing. Right, can we go back to the story when like, did he get, f he got fired, but didn't they go come to this, uh, they came yeah, to his cabin. Yeah, that was not fun. So I was roommates with the keyboard player <laughs> and- um, They came to his cabin and took some they, alcohol out of his room and took him out. Well, they took my alcohol. Oh yeah. That's yeah, it. so Carnival changed that not long after, not because of that incident. I'm sure it was a long time coming. But um, for a time, they would allow crew, staff, officers, whoever, to buy bottles of alcohol in the gift shop at, I think, a discounted price. Mm -hmm. And so we did that sometimes. So I had actually been given a bottle of, like, uh, cognac, I think, or something for Christmas. There was, like a, like, a white elephant kind of thing among the entertainment department. So someone had given me a bottle of, I, I think it was... Uh, some kind of cognac, I don't remember. But uh, so that was during the Christmas cruise that we did that like white elephant gift exchange thing. And then I think his girlfriend came on the cruise after that, which was the New Year's cruise. And I hadn't drank the whole bottle. I wanted to kind of savor it because it was like kind of an expensive they bottle. They kind of confiscate the yeah, bottle but, basically. But anyway, there were like limits on how many bottles you could have in the room in your cabin. I remember it being one bottle per person. And so I don't think that we were over that, but because he had been, you know, basically terminated like due to an alcohol, alcohol. thing, uh, they, they, they took it and I, think, I didn't get it back. I think some security kind of took him off the ship. I wasn't there for that. I remember talking to him on a, a phone, a ship phone, like two or three days later, like I didn't see him again. Um, but, yeah, uh, they take it really seriously. Yeah, like it was if not you do good. He... Anything, or even guests, if they do anything, you yeah. literally get taken. Yeah. Like the cruise that we just went on as uh, guests, actually. Uh, we went on a cruise um, on the ship that we first met. Yeah, we went back on the Magic where we <clears> first met. And there was uh, a guest in the cabin, whether they're ill or whether they did something. Yeah, we don't know exactly what it was. Well, I think but they probably were ill and uh, they basically security were. was they outside. They might have been, I'm not sure, but yeah, and to be a guest and basically, you know, quarantined in your cabin on a cruise is yeah, is not fun. But um, what they did was they took him out of our shared cabin and they put him somewhere else, I don't know where, and I think that they basically didn't allow him to leave. And I, th I swear it was like the last night of the final sea day before <laughs> the home port where the those guests would have gotten off and new guests got on. I remember being in the crew bar and he had started dating, um, he had started dating one of the singers in the playlist cast. And so she was down there and, and I think that she was talking to him on a phone and, and she told him, oh, hey, Tyler's here. Do you want to talk to him? And I talked to him, I was like, dude, like what even happened? Like, yeah. because 
I think that I was in the room when security came and got him. Um, it was like in the middle of the night, wasn't it? Yeah, or no, I think that I went back to the cabin. He was in there, and as soon as I walked in, he, he told me, like, dude, I'm gone. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I'm gone. I'm going home. I'm like, what do you mean, for good? And he's like, yeah, they fired me. Um, and yeah, then I... very soon <clears throat> after that, some security officer came, and, you know, they, like, let him pack up his stuff. I think that's what he was you know, kind of doing when I came back. Yeah, but, you don't uh, have much time to do stuff, no. basically. Yeah, if they're firing you, it's like you're going There now. was another story when um, <laughs> they got fired because uh, they put a coat hanger in the fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, I remember that. He was trying to hang his stuff up and he set it off and it soaked yeah. everything. The mattress, all of deck three was literally soaked. Yeah, so it wasn't a fire extinguisher. I think it was like a sprinkler. Oh, yeah, that was it. They kind yeah. of put a hanker in the sprinkler and the yeah, sprinkler went Yeah, you know, the kind off. of sprinklers that, like, hang. There's, like, a little, like, metal thing, like, in a, you know, public school or something like that. But I don't know why they they kind of... It was a bit harsh when they fired him. Yeah, I did feel kind of bad for him, but I do remember in, like, orientation, they said, don't touch those. Just yeah, don't I think it was them. some, like, safety precaution. Yeah, like, they can't and really... clearly that's why. It, it must not have taken that much to set it off. But, yeah, was a lot I, of I, I would probably agree with you. It's probably a little harsh to fire someone for that. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I can't remember if anything, like... Obviously, we danced uh, down on, um, on deck zero. There's, like, a jail. Yeah, they call it the brig. Yeah. Yeah, so there's crew laundry down there, which is bigger than, like, the guest laundrettes, but that's <laughs> it. It's probably, like, two or three times the size of a guest laundrette, but it's for the whole crew. The whole, like, 1,300 people are supposed to do their laundry in that one. But I don't think it was on every ship that the brig was there because there was only one that I remember seeing it, and it was right there. Um, and there's a place where um, if people, like, if they pass away yeah so there is a morgue on ships too yeah that's sort of a, it's not a rumor it is true um and it does happen yeah. people die on ships um I did, have you ever seen like a body getting i remember like they no, closed doors I and i did. saw i saw a like what ship was that on i'm not 100 percent sure but i saw like they kind of trapped us in like a room so that they could evacuate the body yeah and there was a helicopter that came onto the ship one time as well was that a medivac? Yeah, I think it was on Spirit that something happened and they oh, had to wow. have a helicopter. That's actually what happened on our ship that we just went on as a guest. And it's like a, a crew member was like poorly. So we had to go to, um, what was it, Princess K? Yeah, we had to, to drop. And that, that was guest not off. a scheduled port of call. Like yeah. We went there to, to medically evacuate this crew member. We don't know exactly what happened there no. um you know they they're not going to share that with the guests and but we asked one of the camp ocean staff and even she was like we don't know exactly like yeah um but like anything's possible like there's yeah. like situations that we've um you know i wouldn't say witnessed but uh heard because obviously you know we need every the staff captain will always make an announcement and when the staff captain makes an announcement whether we couldn't dock at a, like a poor or like any if any like we just know when the staff captain speaks that we know it's really important yeah usually it's the captain that comes on <clears> i think <throat> the staff captain i feel like deals more with oh yeah my bad staff. yeah the captain then it's the staff captain yeah who's, like, and the captain will come on even during a sea day in the middle of the day and and just give you an update on where you are i think that's more out of tradition because to be yeah. honest i don't think that most people cruising care how many knots we're going or how deep the depth is where we are you know but uh it'll be it, get it very interesting when it's a storm though when you kind of want to know yeah. all that yeah i remember when we were in the cabin and it was like so bad but uh, yeah, the captain will come on and, and give these kind of updates. And so when we learned that we were going to have to make an unscheduled uh, docking to evacuate this crew member, that's kind of a, a pretty serious situation. So Yeah, sad, but um, like... Yeah, it happens. And I mean, we didn't hear what happened, but obviously, you know, we... Yeah. 
We just hope and pray that they're okay. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure they got the care that they needed. But uh, and it could happen for a guest too, like a guest. There was loads of announcements when we were going through COVID, weren't there? Oh yeah. That's another. Well, that was a whole different yeah, thing. Yeah, that's another yeah, episode. Yeah, we can talk about do. that in a future episode if you want about. Um, perfect timing um in future episode we could talk about um being on the ship during covid and we still can go more into details on our cruise as a guest um that was my first cruise kim's really second cruise as a guest uh obviously Maisie's first cruise yeah our baby and yeah, we took our baby. baby on the the cruise and that was an experience yeah that's for sure yeah but, so if uh, you've got any more, if you've got any questions you want to know about yeah, any... Leave a comment uh, in the video or if you're listening, not on YouTube, if you're listening on some streamer, follow us on other social medias. I have that linked down in the show notes. You can follow us there. If you've not already subscribed, make sure to do that so that you can get notifications when new episodes drop. We put out new episodes every other Friday. Um, yeah, so, don't miss out on that. Yeah. It's exciting. So we'll, stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. So thank you for watching and listening. Sail away with Kim and Tyler, and we'll see you in another episode.